Hi everyone, welcome to Drivewood Care. Fancy another trip? <laughs> I do. Let's do a dual carriageway. We're going to go from Whitfield Industrial Estate down to Sandwich on the Sandwich Bypass, which is a dual carriageway, which then becomes a single road. So all the usual applies. Look out for your hazards and things observation awareness. Follow the speeds, indicate where appropriate, and take evasive action <laughs> if you see anything. It's a beautiful sunny day. We've had um, quite dreadful clouds lately, and the weather's been awful. Okay, roundabout ahead. I'm going straight across, so I'll indicate off the roundabout. Got to put the sunnies on. It's quite amazing. Nothing to my right. Straight across. Indicate off to allow these other cars to know what my intentions are. Going left on this roundabout. So let's do the indicator. It's one car on the roundabout. Indicating right and then turning off. Sun behind me, which is cool. The visor up. Straight across, no one around but I will indicate as a matter of course. And then straight over this roundabout onto the dual carriageway which is the A256. No stopping at any time for six miles, national speed limit applies. So we can do 70 on this dual carriageway. I think there are three roundabouts which we'll be going across. Car slowing down in front. Going straight across. Didn't indicate off. I'll indicate because I'm seeing all the drivers across the way and they're all looking at me thinking, where's that green car going? So you need to let them know. So yeah, dual carriageway. It's a 70 miles an hour and the only thing to keep your eyes on is straight ahead and look out for any obstructions, any hazards. Otherwise, straight down the road. There's probably a song in there somewhere. Sign warning of strong winds for three quarters of a mile. Check for blind spots. Let's get up to 70. Get past the Nissan. Stay in my lane, overtake the Polo. Still doing 70. Indicate back into the lane. It's quite easy, isn't it? I see a car waiting at the junction. It's pulling out. Because it's potentially a high performance vehicle, he's going to put his foot down, so I don't need to think about moving out. Yeah, he's already up to 70. So that's cool. 
Had I been closer to the junction, I might have pulled out just to allow him to slide onto the dual carriageway. Roundabout ahead, reduce speed now. See these yellow markings in the road, which for each, I don't know, what are they, 20 yards, 10 yards, they get closer and closer and closer to give you the perception that you're going really fast. Okay, I'm going straight across, one car turning around the roundabout. The red Renault in front of me going straight ahead, one car to my right. Let's get back up to 70. I like a bit of 70. spend all your days on little roads, stop, start, stop, start. It's good to kind of blow the cobwebs away. I'm still doing 70 and I can see I'm creeping up to the Renault. So I'm going to slide down and overtake, still doing 70. But they're obviously doing 66 maybe. Clear to move back in. 200 yards ahead, there's a junction on the road. So I'm aware that there could be a car coming out. car coming up to my right. Okay, approaching another roundabout. That looks rather dodgy. Lads in their hoodies. throw aspersions, is that the word? He's indicating left. Straight across. So we're at the end of the dual carriageway and it's two-way traffic on this section. But the, the road is wide enough, they've got traffic islands for all the junctions. So Mercedes is turning right. Could change his mind, but I'll assume, it, yeah. Rather, rather strange, that. As they passed me, they were both looking at me. I'm like, unless you think I'm that famous YouTuber. <laughs> I don't know. So with this being two-way traffic now, I'm conscious that because I know the road, some people tend to try and overtake on this stretch, either overtake me or oncoming vehicles. So it's a blind bend. I don't want to see someone on my side of the carriageway. And it's pretty clear. Lovely. So I'm doing 60 now because it's still national speed limit, but it's two-way traffic. Pedestrians in the road, and that's this section here. So we've got a staggered junction ahead, as well as a cycle route. Car coming out, out of junction.
on more roundabouts ahead and I want to go right. It's a Y configuration, so you're either going left or right, so you need to be indicating whether going left or right. It's not a straight on situation. And I want to go right, so we'll get the indicators on. Didn't indicate off. Didn't indicate off. Indicated off. <laughs> One out of three ain't bad, right? <laughs> Indicating off onto the 258 deal, which I might do as another video in a minute. You know, two in one day. Don't forget, if there's anywhere kind of local to where I am in Kent that you'd like to see kind of covered, if only, say you're learning to drive and you need to know, oh, what are the routes that you would take from the driving school at Folkestone and blah, blah, blah. And then I could do it as a video. That would be cool. I am indicating left because it's not straight on. It's kind of off. And we're arriving in Sandwich. Now, do I just keep going for another two or three minutes or do I end the video here? <laughs> do you want to see the, the route into the town centre? Yes you do. You'll stay you'll stay tuned, won't you? 40 mile an hour zone. Yeah, because then we'll see some hazards, won't we? Which is always a good thing. 30 mile an hour zone. Vehicles parked on the pavement and road. Traffic islands. One car parked near the bend in the road, so I've got to come out, but there could be someone coming around the bend. Running, someone running. More cars parked on my side of the road, but the road's wide enough for two cars. So that's good. We've got the sandwich train station ahead with a level crossing, but the lights are not on and the barriers are up. So we're just going to go straight across and pray that there's no train coming through. Car turning right, causing me to stop. Letting Santa out on his tracker. It's a tracker. can't overtake because there's oncoming traffic. I am going to go for it. There's no pedestrians at the crossing. Otherwise, if there were, I wouldn't have overtaken. But I want to get in Sandwich in two minutes, not 20 minutes. Ahead only, so entering the one-way system. Nothing coming from the right. And this is Sandwich. I don't know if it's named after the Earl of Sandwich. If you know, drop me a comment. Pedestrian getting out of car. And then standing in road. Zebra crossing with the light beacons flashing. Nobody crossing. I think, where shall I stop? I don't want to be criticised for stopping on double yellows or anywhere I'm not supposed to stop. So I'll either end the video while I'm driving. In fact, I'll do that. We're in Sandwich. That was the dual carriageway bypass called the Sandwich Bypass. Thanks for watching, bearing with. I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.